Hello everybody! Today I would like to show you one of the nice features in vSphere 6.7 Instant Clones. This technology was around 6 version 6.0 known as VM Fork and you could download a fling from VMware Labs to test it. Now it's fully integrated into the vSphere suite so let's have a deeper look at it. So what is Instant Clone? Well, it's a technology that allows you to spin multiple VMs linked to the parent master VM and those VMs share the memory state and the disk state of the source virtual machine. The really cool thing is that the new instant clone VMs share the base memory from the source virtual machine, so you can easily spin dozens or even hundreds of new virtual machines really fast and impact on your resources will be minimum. From my perspective, this technology is a great tool to improve your CI-CD pipeline when you are working on some cloud-native application and you would like to test a new release against a large number of web servers, for example. If you like to get more deeper information about the technology itself, feel free to visit my blog where I have described the underlying technology a bit deeper. This is my host customization script. That script will be installed on the source virtual machine and is responsible for customization of new instant clone VMs that will be launched from the source virtual machine. It's pretty simple, it just changes the IP address and hostname of the virtual machine. Once the script will be executed, it will disable the network interface and freeze the source virtual machine. Once the new instant clone VM will be launched, the freeze process will be terminated and the script will continue from the new instant clone virtual machine. Second part is a power CLI script that will actually launch new instant clone VMs and push the customization parameters to the new instant clone VM. Both scripts can be much more advanced, but for demonstration it will be sufficient. Let's run the host customization script in the source virtual machine. As you might notice, the cursor stopped blinking, meaning that the virtual machine is currently frozen. Now let's have a look at the vSphere level. On the right down corner there is SSH connection to my ESXi server and once we will launch new instant clone VMs you will see that the shirt metric in ESX top will increase dramatically. What that means is that despite the fact my source virtual machine have 4 GB of memory new instant clone VMs will allocate only few megabytes of physical RAM on the host and the rest will be shared from the source virtual machine. Let's start a script that will deploy new instant clone VMs. As you can see, immediately after the execution new instant clone VMs are being created in the inventory in the running state. I will speed up the video a bit so we don't need to wait for the whole process. So, as you can see, 20 new VMs were deployed and it took only like 2.5 minutes to do so. Now we can check new VMs if the customization was successful. As you can see, every new instant clone VM has its own IP address as well as the hostname, so everything worked well. You can imagine how powerful this technology is and you can do whatever you want as a part of the host customization. The possibilities are endless here. Now let's just execute another script that will power off and delete those new instant clone VMs and you might again notice how the shared value of the memory in ESX top is decreasing as the VMs are being deleted. So that's it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my new videos. If you want, you can also subscribe to my newsletter. If you do so, I will send you summary of my new blog posts, new webinars and much more. But don't worry, maximum one email per month. Also, if you are interested, you can check my GitHub repository where you can find all the scripts that were used in this demo. I have included all the links in the description of the video. See you next time.